So this is the Monaco Grill the Grid special with me, David Coulthard. Well, it's the shortest Grand Prix on the calendar. It's 260 kilometers and I believe it's 78 laps. Oh, the last one's Anthony Noakes, who's the founder of the track. Is it 18 or so, or is it 22? 20 something? It's got lots. Sorry, you're wrong, it's 19. 19, oh, I was close, 18, but yeah. Well, I used to cut one of them, so that's why I thought it was uh, 18. Monaco residents. Well, there's quite a lot of them are Monegasques, so they're probably not. It, it would be easy to think 30%, which is the heaviest number on there, but maybe split the difference and say 20? You were actually right before, it was 30. 30%, okay. It was Olivier Panis, I think, 96, and he was either 8th or 12th. He was actually 14. 14. You were right with Olivier Panis in yeah. 96 to 14. Half a point. Uh, Fernando Alonso, Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg, Kimi Raikkonen, Sebastian Vettel. I mean, it was at five. Another driver, uh, Jensen Button. Ayrton Senna has the most wins in Monaco. He's got six wins, uh, which is one more than Graham Hill, who was called Mr. Monaco before that. He had five. During the Grand Prix, less, because the Red Bull Energy Station takes up about 12 berths. I, I don't know, 100? Oh, you count those little things. It was someone Chiron. I forget his first name, Louis Chiron. Right. And I think the other one was Olivier Beretta, who's the only other Monegasque driver I know. That is McLaren. That would have been Alain Prost and uh, Ayrton Senna. Very good. It's the jewel in the crown. It's the most glamorous Grand Prix. It's the most challenging Grand Prix. It is uh, the one that all the drivers would love to win. Does that come close? Well, in past form, you've got to say Nico Rosberg. Uh, he's won here three times, and he's in what is considered the fastest car in Formula One right now. But Red Bull won in Barcelona, Max was pretty awesome there, Daniel was a bit frustrated with strategy, so he's fired up. So Daniel Ricciardo and the Red Bull, but we're gonna to have to tune in and watch what will be another fantastically exciting Grand Prix.